Deal or No Deal executive reveals that he sacked Meghan after one week as detected her other dark job, tarnishing his show. Months after Meghan Markle claimed she was treated like a bimbo on the set of Deal or No Deal, the game show in which she starred as a briefcase model for one season, a top executive has denied accusations that the series objectifies women. Lucas Green, the chief content officer at Banijay, which owns the Deal or No Deal franchise, responded to the Duchess of Sussex's comments in an interview with Variety published on Wednesday, May the 24th. When asked whether he agreed with Meghan's assertion that the show's briefcase models are objectified, Green said no, he didn't. In one of Meghan's last posts before shutting down the website, as well as an entry she composed after she started dating Harry, she stated that it was only about 10 years ago that she only had $40 in a bank account. However, she told whopping lies. 2007 was the deal or no deal days. She made a fortune from here on in, but she was sacked after one week because the producers found out her dark part-time job. They feared that a second job, if discovered, would tarnish their show's image. Remember, Megan was living rent-free, eating the best food and travelling all on Trevity Trev Trev's dime. In addition to a job in the Deal or No Deal programme, Megan earned a living by yachting around the world and working as an escort. She may have had $40 in her bank account, but the rest in a joint account. She may also have been running around with Daddy's or Sugar Daddy's credit cards. At no point was she ever down to her last $40. Chief Lucas Green added, we're constantly evolving the format so that it isn't the same show that it was 15 years ago. A lot of work goes into modernising our formats to ensure they represent our values as a company and wider society. While the future Duchess of Sussex starred on the US version of Deal or No Deal on NBC from 2006 to 2007, there are more than 60 versions worldwide. The UK version, for example, will continue to use members of the public from all walks of life to open the boxes. Green added, instead of the famous briefcase models used in the US iteration. Meghan made headlines in October 2022 when she shared details about her experience on the widely popular game show, which involves contestants opening up to 26 cases, each containing randomly assigned sums of money up to $1 million. In an episode of a Spotify podcast, Archetypes, Meghan said she was treated like a bimbo on Deal or No Deal and didn't like how the show made her feel, which wasn't very intelligent. I didn't like feeling forced to be all looks, she said of the show, and little substance. And that's how it felt for me at the time, being reduced to this specific archetype, the word bimbo. Green told Variety he disagrees with Markle's assessment. Deal or No Deal is a highly adaptable ratings winner, which continues to attract large audiences across wide markets, as shown with the recently relaunched series in Italy. Unlike quiz shows, it has no questions, which makes it more cost-effective, and it can be produced in higher volumes without compromising quality. Ultimately, this format is unique and simple with great storytelling at its heart, which is why it works both as an on-demand format that can be binge-watched and a scheduled daily show.